Following the passage of Hurricane Beryl on Monday, July 1st, Honorable Alfred Prosper, Minister of Agriculture, released the preliminary assessment statistics of his ministry on the sectoral damage. He notes, as with all storms or weather systems, the banana and plantain subsectors are the most vulnerable. We begin, began an assessment on the 2nd of July, where we commence from the south and ended in Ruzu, looking at the damages caused by the wind in terms of the banana and plantain sector, subsectors. What we observed is that in the southern part of St. Lucia, the damage was a lot less compared with areas like the valleys, like Mabio Valley, <coughs> Ruzo Valley, including Bexon. <coughs> he reports the Seymour subsector suffered a devastating blow while there was minimal loss recorded among livestock farmers. We also saw a 70 to 80 percent damage to the Seymour subsector and we all know the importance of CMOS and where CMOS is grown and the whole behavior of the Atlantic Ocean during the storm would have obviously impacted the sector. In terms of the livestock sector, some of our poultry, our <clears throat> soil farmers suffered, suffered minor losses, some in terms of damage to the infrastructure, some farmers suffered lost of some of the, the layer birds, the chicks, etc. But that subsector was not that bad compared with the whole banana and planting subsector. Thus far, these are the preliminary figures and cost of damages received in the various agriculture subsectors. Value of damages for the various subsectors and so far in the fishery sector, as I said, is preliminary. We are looking at damages Damages costing $698,000. In the livestock sector, $120,000. Non-banana crops, and that includes areas like the, the vegetable, vegetable farmers the, or the vegetable subsector. And we are estimating $617,000 loss in terms of damage. The banana sector that got the major blow is somewhere in the region of 3.4 million EC and the planting sector 2.2 million. So overall, our preliminary summary in terms of value of damages to the agricultural sector stands at 7.079 million EC dollars. The Agriculture Minister went on to highlight the regions most significantly affected by Hurricane Beryl. He further made a direct comparison to the losses recorded during Tropical Storm Brett. The damages were very severe in regions 3, and that is the Mabio Valley, and in areas like regions 5 and 6, which is Miku and Sufre, for other agricultural crops like plantain. So we are so far looking at the total damage value of about seven million EC dollars in the agricultural sector which represents about 34 percent last year in june when we had tropical storm breath we had 75 percent damage to the agricultural sector but this time it's a lot less but the impact is still very heavy on especially our banana farmers. St. Lucia avoided the worst of beryl category 4 winds that devastated areas of St. Vincent and Grenada and claimed at least six lives. The storms did, however, cause damage to the southern part of the island. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austin.